Welcome to Carl's Aquarium. Evil puppy Bailey at all. <laughs> Okay, you guys missed an amazing sight. Aaron using his body to pull the cardboard box off the styrofoam. Like grabbing the I plastic. do it every time. Yeah, but we've never videotaped it. Well, next time videotape it. Uh, I probably look stupid. No, you look funny. This is going to take longer than the other box. I have a feeling about that. Yeah, I think so. Some of bags, double layer. Chocolate chip starfish. I asked, why don't you open each of the bags, take the elastic off it, and that way you'd have bags to use to send the product back out. Because that would take so much longer. That's what I said. Okay, now we're in the shrimp. Come on, move. Oh, he's moving. I set up the Shrimperator 20 million. I only see 12. Um, you ever notice that the United States has a lot of world championship wrestling? We're not the United States universe. Though, oh, this one's cool. He shed too. Is this a different kind or the same one? Well, I got. I think he's the same. Looks the same. Same shape, just different markings. Yeah. Maybe they darken up when they... Uh, After they shed, yeah. Harden up. I haven't got them for a while. Harlequin shrimp. Yeah, I ordered one. You got it. Four or three? Or five. No, three or four. I looked at the box. More than I ordered. There's either three anemone shrimp and four harlequin or the opposite. Yeah. And there's the anemone. Where's the other hair? Don't know if you can see it. Yeah, kind of. Halloween hermits? Yep. I don't think those shrimp made it. There's two of them. Mm. When they curl up and look like cocktail shrimp, that's usually what gives it away. Yeah, it's definitely not a good sign. Huh? 
damn it. <laughs> Billy. Billy. No, get down. Ears perk up like you got intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know it's not real. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we got snails. We got a hundred of them. It may not be as exciting as you were hoping for. They weren't expecting the dropping of the camera. No, probably not. See, I told them we were going to be opening a hundred snails. And that they shouldn't expect too much excitement. This ride was done. Oh, that's always good. Yeah, well, I found that uh, my son can provide entertainment at many times. I'm pissed at me. So I was reading today, and I think that there's a ninth planet in our solar system. Oh yeah? Out past Neptune and Pluto. Yeah. And they think that that's... Okay, so they said something about how the reason that they think that... or A strong supporting theory, a reason to this theory is the fact that the Earth and all the planets rotate around the Sun in an orbit that's a little off tilt, mm -hmm. and it would make more sense if there was a planet that was further out, keeping them in and balance. Yeah. So that's what they say. And well, that's how they it's found a the first like planet. A hundred times bigger, ten times bigger than Earth, or something like that. They figure. Well, it'd have to be really big to be that far out and have that much influence. Yeah. But you see, they're getting better looking further and further and further, and. Every time they learn more, they yes. can look further. Huh. I didn't order it, but it's pretty. What is it? Blue spotted gripper. I don't know, large enough, because they didn't really do intricate, tiny machine work. There's a cool. banded moray eel. Very cool. Um, where's the lid? I don't know. Um, if you had to guess how many inches long would a key be? The original key. I don't know. Just a wild guess. Uh, four inches long. Foot long. So a really wild guess would be a foot long. Yeah. Okay. So anything under a foot is within the realm of possibility, but anything over a foot not a chance, no way, no how. Well, I didn't say not a chance, no how. That was my random guess. And because of the way that you're talking, it makes it seem as if the key is, actually, it is much larger than the keys we have today. They used to be able to use them as a weapon. 
Mm, okay. They'd be four or five feet, feet long, long, and you had to stick it through a hole, and it was like bent, and it was like an iron rod, and hit something to open the door. Oh, okay. They didn't have a compact lock that you could just stick yeah. the key in. You had to stick a iron rod, because it had to be strong enough, and it had to be bent the right way. So if somebody didn't have the right rod, they couldn't open the door. Mm. But when you carried your key, if somebody came upon you and wanted to rob you, well, you got an iron rod in your hand, even though it's a little crooked. It's still, it's still a weapon. The guy. Yeah. You can learn a lot, my son. When father asks questions a certain way, I pick up on these things. Oh no, he's he's moving. He's moving, yay! Okay, look at our tank back there. Put a little scoop, a couple of tablespoons. Hey, we got another green mussel colony. They basically are a colonial musk. They're kind of cool. Take that water off them.